When tragedy strikes like it has in Oxford, people in other communities always find ways to reach out and show their support. As our Victor Williams shows us, some of the most meaningful gestures can be as simple as words on a sign or some extra stuffed animals. Well, this is just one of the examples of how other communities are stepping in to show their support for Oxford. This sign here was donated by one of the businesses out of Troy, and it doesn't stop there. Yeah, all three of our kids are, are attending Oxford schools. Troy and Metro Detroit Sinorama owner Bob Chapa says his company had to find some way to show their love to the many affected by last Tuesday's horrific school shooting. And what better way to show that love than an actual sign used as a reminder for students at every school in Oxford. My wife and I thought that it would be really powerful just to share a message that each and every one of them is loved. Sinorama also donated thousands of Oxford Strong signs free of charge as well. However, 45 minutes away at Canton Prep High, students have found a different way to show their love and respect, a stuffed animal drive. We're trying to get approximately 1,800 because we'd like to give one to every student, every staff member um, at Oxford. So far, 616 stuffed animals have been collected, but English teacher and drive organizer Elizabeth Harsony is hoping to nearly double that number. We're collecting donations up until Friday, um, and we would love to have um, as many rolled in as possible. And with these reminders of love and support, the hope is that they'll make at least a small difference in the healing process during a rough time. It's comforting because we know how important it is to not feel alone and to feel like you are supported. It's really been wonderful to see our community come together. It's a very difficult time, but there have been a lot of businesses and a lot of other folks that have done everything they can to support the community. And it's great to be a part of it. And both groups are continuing to help beyond this point. We're told that they're going to continue accepting donations for the families of the victims as well as start some type of memorial in honor of those who are no longer with us. In Oxford, Victor Williams, Local 4. Okay, Victor, thanks.